I'm just going to do a little review on this radio receiver I bought on eBay. Here's the receiver here. I'll show you some pictures of it. It's a single base um, transistor radio, just a one little transistor. So I can try to um, get it so I can see it properly. And there's the kit that you get it in. So you actually have to make it. It's a radio kit. But so far, I've been quite impressed with it actually. Um, I bought them from a bloke called Trevor. If you just log on and go to radio kits, you'll see these kits there. And he has a, a number of other kits to buy. And um, if you just go to other items in there, you see them. And they're, you know, I've actually bought a number of them. And they all work superbly well. And I'll review the other ones as well for you. But I'll just do this in a review in a minute. Right, this is the actual receiver itself. I'll just take up to it now. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better. Sorry about the crude video, but I'm trying to actually do it on the fly so you can actually see it working. Um, I'm just going to turn it on for you. And um, I've got it rigged up for a speaker. When you actually get it, you get this with an earpiece that goes in, um, not the speaker. I've done it for the speaker just for a demonstration purpose. This is the bell. On the instructions that you get with the radio, um, it explains everything how the radio works and how you're supposed to actually put it together. If you have a look at it, the battery packs there, which is included, which is actually supplied. There's an additional point here where you can connect other batteries or um, another type of cell power source if you want to. This is um, a tuning board here, which also comes with it. and. Um, on it you get different frequencies which alters different conductors on the board. Um, there's also on the board for vision to put over this side to put additional tuning circuits on her if you wish. So it's pretty intensive really for a small tuning board and there's your tuning knob. Okay. I'm just gonna turn the radio on quickly to let you know the reception that I'm getting on it. Like I said it is done through a speaker now you will have to provide your own speaker um, and also a small little amplifier to actually work the device. But I'll put it on. I'm a bit worried about the, um, you know, read broadcasting, so I'm not going to play too much. But let, I'll put it on. Bamako in Mali. Right, listen to it now. Affair was not consulted. That's it. More on Thursday and on Saturday of next week. Until then, goodbye. I've written through the frequency a little bit more than I would normally. Because I'm a little bit worried about rebroadcasts and stuff. And I don't want to get in trouble. These, if you just pop this out, you can just re-alter the frequencies from here to here. This one, the top one, is your HF frequency. So at night, that's very good. And so far, I've been getting lots of good things on Radio China. And also, I got um, a little bit... I'll just turn this off now. Um, I also got a little bit on um, some American stations I've been getting as well on it. So it's a nice little receiver, a nice little project for someone to start. And actually, I would recommend this kit as one of the first ones to build the Trevor's range because the results that you'll get will be rather good. And um, I'm sure you'll be pleased and you'll go on to buy some more of these little receiver kits. And anyway, I hope you like the little review. And sorry, it was a little bit dice on my little tablet here, but I'm. I'm trying to do it and give you a, a demonstration over it while the radio actually is working. And the batteries last for a long time in this little receiver. I had it for about three weeks now and I've never replaced the batteries in it yet. So that's quite good going. Okay, I hope you like the little review. Um, give me a little bit of feedback if you want the information more. And um, do look at Trevor's little website on eBay. Okay, thank you then.